huge night at a great stadium. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's Premier Club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. It's Milan up against Napoli. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. Napoli starting 11. David Ospina begins in goal. Matteo Politano starts with Lorenzo Insigne in the wide positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. The tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, you don't really want to be picking up a caution so early in the game, Stuart. Well, he's going to be under pressure now. That was a reckless challenge. He didn't need to make it at all. He goes short, and teammates to play it to. Not the best clearance. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Well, what a goal that would have been. Surprised he took it on, to be honest. Long way out, but oh, so close. Sandro Tonali. Brahim. What a bad pass it was. Oh, great play. Into the middle from Lorenzo Insigne. Brahim. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Diaz and a really good diving stop oh, 
played over and under pressure not on the target Crucial interception amid impending danger. Zielinski. Now the outcome is a free kick here. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. He plays it short. On Gisa. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And taken short into the middle from Lorenzo Insigne. Untidy on the ball. Brahim. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card but no booking on this occasion. Well, the clearance, half-hearted. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Just cutting off the supply. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Rafael Leao. Oh, moving it nicely. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Pulls it back. Can he put them in front? And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Fabian. Onguisa. And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Making progress. Determined block. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. 
The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Veering in field here. And he fire it towards goal. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. And over comes the corner. And the danger is averted. Rafael Leao. Giroud. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And as they say in French, Olivier Giroud has that savoir-faire. He knows what he's doing in this one, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a really... Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Brahim. Giroud. An authoritative challenge. Disappointing pass. Giroud. And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. Well, Napoli did well to regain control of the ball. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Kessier. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Very comfortable when in possession. Zero! Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Thirty minutes left for play. Rafael Leao, now racing past his man. And the cross, well, he gave it real leather, but miles off target. The referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. A move of promise on the flank. And the cross goes in. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And Giroud now at the controls. Well, not the best clearance. And running through to the keeper. Fabian. It's with Onguisa. Now Napoli in a position of menace. And a useful cross. A decisive clearance it was. Can they hit on the break? 
Good looking sequence. A glorious chance. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and while the finish might not be the cleanest of strikes, it's still good enough to beat the keeper. What a lovely goal that is. So 2-0 now. Showing good defensive judgment. Went in strongly, decisively. Bonitano. And he's broken free. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Time for a change then. Trying to pick out a teammate. Has eyes for goal! And still danger here. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Has eyes for goal! And Napoli struggling to keep the ball. Ibrahimovic teammate in support putting his body on the line who's going to get on the end of it and a time for calm on the ball the final whistle and so a lead for Milan to carry with them into the return match yeah, they control so much of the game. They got good service into the front players. They used the wide area as well. And their midfield players made some dynamic forward runs. They're certainly giving themselves a great chance of reaching the final now. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And he's team one. What more could you ask for?